I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Bertie. Bertie, Bertie Moore. And where are you from? I'm from a place, Belfast, Ireland, mm -hmm. um, from a housing estate called Rothcool. Yes. It's a loyalist housing estate uh -huh. in North Belfast. Yeah. And um, it's the first time for you here in Medjugorje? No, this is my sixth time. Why do you come back? Oh, you're just drawn to it. Yeah. I was just drawn to it. Do you let's, let's come over here. There's a car, car coming. coming. We go on this side. Let's go together. Exactly. It's beautiful. And um, you said actually you are Protestant? I was born baptized a Protestant, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I met my second wife uh -huh. 17 years ago. Yeah. And from that there, I've been walking with her, the Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. And it's just been getting stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. And my conversion will be next Easter, Saturday. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. And what tool tool you to the Catholic Church? Um, I think the more and more just education yeah. of learning more about the Catholic faith, mm -hmm. Protestant faith, Muslim faith. Mm -hmm. um, our Lord was born over two, th uh, crucified over two thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Six hundred years after that, there. I, now I'm I'm only guessing these uh, was the Muslims. Mm -hmm. uh, was it fifteen hundred years the Protestants? This wee monk decided to protest against the Celtic Church. So the way the way the way I look at it is, mm -hmm. what happened for fifteen hundred years? Who was wrong? Mm -hmm. And how come this one guy mm -hmm. decided to say, uh, "I'm sorry, guys," or something, something not right here? Mm -hmm. So I just educated. I've educated myself through, and I th uh, this one guy just got it wrong. Yeah. And the trouble that he's caused back home, yeah. Protestants and Celtics. And we have a ceasefire at the minute, and things are going so well for us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he got it wrong. But who am I to say? Uh, yeah. Who am I to say that? Yeah, we all made it in some ways wrong, but um, this, yeah, like yeah. you said. But coming here, yeah. I, this is my sixth time here, mm -hmm. and the feeling mm -hmm. and the coming back to it, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. We had the pleasure of last night to go to one of the visionaries' house, mm -hmm. and Our Lady appeared to the visionary, mm -hmm. and I just got this complete relaxation when mm -hmm. she when she appeared yeah. heavy I was heavy breathing mm -hmm. you knew she was there people will say Bertie she wasn't there you're mad mm -hmm. but you had to be there to experience it mm -hmm. because I was telling telling my, my friends mm -hmm. that we were doing the rosary and I started feeling tired I started getting because you're on your feet all day mm -hmm. all you do is walk when you're here yeah. I'm starting to feel tired and tired so the visionary got up to the front and when the, the, the say when she goes quiet Mm -hmm. That's when Our Lady appears. Yeah. See the minute that happened, mm -hmm. I got up off my seat and I just felt myself. Whew. And you knew she was there. You knew she was there. Fantastic. Really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you said you walk a lot here. What is your favourite um, spot in Medjugorje? You have a favourite uh, place you like to the, go to? The, this, this church here, yeah. I don't know the name of it. Yeah. But where, was, where the Christ is the ag yes. in agony. I was, I was telling the, the, the friends that are with us, yeah. you'll see our Lord sitting in the Garden of Gethsemane. And, and the feeling that I get in there, if Jesus is praying, mm -hmm. what should we be doing? Yes. And that's powerful to me. If he's praying, what are we doing? Yeah. So we should be praying as well. But I had the pleasure of my daughter coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, on, we came here last Saturday. Mm -hmm. My daughter came with us, she lives in Dubai, mm -hmm. and she was she just dead until Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But same again, she was coming out. She, she was baptized a Catholic, mm -hmm. but didn't grow up with a Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. So she was coming out here going, okay, daddy, I'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. And you want to see the things that happened to her while she was here. Wow, what happened? There's a photograph, there's a group photograph, yeah. and she's walking past in the background. Mm -hmm. And the photograph has this beam of light mm -hmm. shooting at the sky and just going right through her. Mm -hmm. Now, when someone somebody showed me that, yeah. that's exactly what I did. Wow. Now, I, I know what that means. Yeah. That's our Lord sending her a message, our Lady sending her a message. Yeah. So I zoomed in mm -hmm. on the photograph mm -hmm. and followed the beam of light right up to the sun. Mm -hmm. And you can see the colours of the Divine Mercy. Wow. Yeah. So when I explained that to my daughter, she mm -hmm. blew away. Mm -hmm. So when she had to go home on Wednesday, she, had to, she got a lift down to Dubrovnik. Mm -hmm. And she left here with a lot of posit positivity. Mm -hmm. And then we got a photograph of her. She yeah. went to a mass down there, uh -huh. by herself, uh -huh. went wow. to a mass. Yeah. That's the fruit of magic going. Yeah, huh? yep. Unbelievable, and for you, it's to become a Catholic, no? Yeah. Is, and you know about the Divine Mercy Chaplet, you know everything? Yes, yes. And I'm what is it for you all, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, for example? What does it mean for you? The, um, the, the Divine Mercy blows me away, because mm -hmm. that's the picture of our Lord that Sister Christina had seen. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So when you look at that painting, mm -hmm. that's what she's seen. And what's going to finalise it for me is receiving the body of Christ. Yeah. Because I, do, I, don't, I don't receive the body of Christ at the minute. Mm -hmm. I have to go up and I do this and get a blessing. Yeah. And I'm looking at all my friends around me receiving the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's going to finalise it for me. Wow, so beautiful. Yep. And every, yeah, yeah. every time you're looking to, listening to a priest, yeah. he's telling you, it's not bread. Uh -huh. It is not bread. That's what we think. Uh -huh. A piece of bread. Yeah. You put in your mouth and do this here. But Just no, the sign. no it's now, like now I, I'm convinced it's the body of Christ. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why you are convinced of it? Listening to the priest, listening to friends, and you can see that what they are doing and they are turning it into the body of Christ. Yeah. And it's scriptural, it's written it's, in the it's, Bible. It's scripture, and that's what will finalize for me in uh, Easter. Wow, in so Easter. You are. You're looking forward now. Yes, no? looking forward to so Ta much. Countdown to the kingdom. Yes, <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. And you pray the rosary already? Pray the rosary, yeah. yeah. What is it for you? Was it hard for you, Our Lady, to have in the Catholic faith? We have Our Lady. Well, yeah, other people first started listening to Our Lady. Mm -hmm. It was, you always go to your mother for help, which is true. Yeah. I never thought that. I used to just think she was, she's uh, the Virgin Mary. Yeah. But now the look, I look at her as our mother. You go to her, mm -hmm. ask her to mm -hmm. go to her son. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I do it. I do it for a favor go and ask him a wee favor for me yes. but we're not we're actually asking to our mother <laughs> to go to her son and ask him to help us out and there's a lot of ways to roam and the thing that this yeah. thing that we don't worship we only worship our lord mm -hmm. but our lady is our mother stepping stone to our lord amen yeah. and the protestants they like the jewish people and in the jewish family the mother is the center yeah everybody listens to the mother so it's it's Jewish, they know Jesus was a Jew, Mary was yeah. a Jewish woman, so the boy listens to the Jewish mother. Yeah, yeah. And um, what would you tell people, why come to Medjugorje one time? You need to come here to experience it. The mm -hmm. first time I came here, mm -hmm. there was a few wee things happened, the, the feeling, it's a feeling of peace. Mm -hmm. And you, you go with the guides around Operation Hill, uh, the Cross Mountain, and the things like the wee chapel up here, mm -hmm. it's just a feeling of peace. The only thing I can I would say to a Protestant is when you go to church on a Sunday, mm -hmm. you leave all the things behind you outside and you go into church and you sing along and you listen to the minister, you're at peace. But when you're in Magigoria, that peace you're here for a whole week. Mm -hmm. And then when you go home, you take it with you. Wow, so yep. beautiful what you say. Yep. And um, you know with Catholic faith we have the saints. You got already a saint you like a lot? Yes. Which one? Well I was born St. Patrick's Day. Ah so I would have to say St. Patrick's my, my favourite. <laughs> Because I was born on St. Patrick's Day. Wow. And I, oh, my, my father used to make a joke. Yeah. See, if you were a Catholic, you'd have been called Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> that was my father's joke. Nope, no. The prophecy yeah. becomes true. Yeah. You know? But they're asking me what name I'm picking for my, yeah. my confirmation. I'm going to pick Joseph. Joseph. And the reason for that is yeah. my wife says that I don't talk much. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm sort of a sit in silence. Mm -hmm. And that's what it says in the Bible. Yeah. There's nothing in the Bible about jo Joseph's messages or talking. Yeah. So he was, he was man, man of no words. Yeah. And that's why I'm... This is that's very powerful. I'm, yeah. True manhood. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Yes, thank you.